The teacher shortage crisis is one of the most pressing issues facing schools, facing all of us, all mm -hmm. over America. Yeah, for sure. The Bureau of Labor Statistics projects over the next decade, there will be over 124,000 openings for elementary school teachers and over 77,000 openings for high school teachers each year. Here in Pennsylvania, thousands of new teachers will be needed by the end or by the year of 2025. And that'll be here before you know it. Yeah. My goodness. The Pennsylvania State Department of Education has laid out a plan to tackle this problem. And Acting Secretary Eric Haggerty joins us now. Uh, Eric, thank you for being with us. Um, I guess, well, this is not an easy question to answer, but why is there such a shortage? Good morning, and thanks so much for having sure. me. Uh, well, I think we all know the last few years have been among the most challenging times ever to be an educator. Uh, teachers, more than ever, are now wearing many different hats on any given day. They're leading instruction, providing social and emotional support, covering classrooms that can't find a substitute, yeah. addressing medical needs, feeding students, so much more. Uh, it, it's just really difficult job, but of course it's, it's critically important. So we've got to find ways to encourage more individuals to answer the call and enter the classroom. So like, it, there's really just people just don't want to do it anymore? Well, uh, we, we conducted extensive research in putting together our plan and I think uh, one of the things we heard loud and clear is that in addition to the increasing challenges of being a teacher, teachers feel like they're not respected as much as they yeah, used to be. I, yeah. I, think, I think decades ago, most teachers felt like they were among the most revered members of the community. True. And I think today, uh, lots of folks just don't feel that way. So we need to do uh, more to help teachers uh, feel appreciated and valued. And that mm -hmm. also includes mm -hmm. compensation, of course, right. because... Um, a lot of them could make more money in the private sector, but they stick with it uh, because they care so much about teaching our kids. And it definitely is a calling. So you have a plan, though, to kind of map this out, to kind of address this this problem, because it's it's really multiple multiple layers to it. Exactly. Yeah, we are going to be issuing grant opportunities to strengthen the relationships between schools and educator prep programs, modernizing our teacher certification process, implementing new pathways so that teachers who are already certified out of state can more easily plug in and teach here if they move here and reduce unnecessary barriers like basic skills assessments and develop data collection reporting processes to measure our progress uh, all while expanding grow your own programs to increase the number of students that stay in their local communities and become teachers themselves yeah i saw that third line there uh speed up streamline certification what is what does that mean yeah, so in Pennsylvania, if you want to apply to become a teacher and become certified, it takes the Department of Education around 10 weeks to process uh, that application, which is just not acceptable. You know, if you're applying today, um, of course, the school year starts in less yeah. than 10 weeks. Oh. So uh, we are working hard to modernize that system to get it down to 15 days. Gotcha, gotcha. God, that had helped tremendously. For sure, making sure that they can get in the classroom and prepare for the school year. Um, I want to ask a question just about the, the ratio in terms of uh, kind of recruiting more teachers of color. That has been a focus, not just in Pennsylvania, but of course nationwide. And, and just in general, we do know that the outcomes for students of color tend to be better, educational outcomes tend to be better when they have a teacher of color in the classroom. Can you talk to me a little bit about where that stands? Yeah, you're exactly right. Uh, in Pennsylvania, less than 7% of our teachers are people of color. Whoa. And that, of course, is in no way representative of the student population that we're here to serve. Uh, and you're exactly right. Research study after research study shows that when a student has the chance to learn from and interact with someone that uh, looks like them or has a shared background or experience, their outcomes are, are almost always improved. Uh, just like anyone, at, whether you're at work or, uh, or your friend groups, having someone you can relate to makes life a lot easier. So uh, we've got to do more in partnering with our historically black colleges and universities to create those teacher pipelines and also reduce barriers that uh, are, are unique to people of color to make it easier for them to become a teacher. Yeah, nearly 40% of the students are of are color. Of color. And only 7%? of the teachers. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Well, there's a wide gap there. All right. Well, Eric, keep up the good work. Let's keep going. Thank you so Thanks much. Thanks so much.